Hello Scratchers, it's me, Ink Nightmare Yanni, that, that's perfect, and I'm back with the part 2 of the tutorial. No, I haven't received any suggestions yet, uh, but I did remember one of my friends uh, suggesting I add blocks to the game. So I was thinking that um, the zombies would drop some uh, walls like a stone wall, wood wall and then I could just place it whenever I wanted. But then uh, they added the idea where I can just use it as a storing space and keep it to block zombies or as in the crafting tables case I could just I don't know just use it as a crafting table just place it somewhere and uh, I'd also use uh, the uh, how do you say this uh, reach like how my items weapon only has a reach uh, of some space and um, I also did receive uh, saying that I should maybe reduce the size and I think yeah they're probably right so like 70 something yeah it's a short one and then uh, as it goes stronger then I'll make it um, I don't know more or bigger and maybe in some cases like the bow I might like the crossbow I might make it bigger I don't know uh, we'll just decide it later but for now we have our uh, block costumes and that's all nothing very different so what I plan on doing on this tutorial is getting the player able to switch weapons for now and uh, the item block placements and uh, the block limits too and I'll also add the collision and I'll add the tiles for the crafting so let's begin with the player collisions and I'll go with it simple this one if uh, touching and I want it to collide with the blocks and with the trees if it does get stuck well you can always get unstuck So duplicate this, get uh, trees and get block. I'll also add the stone later. So I might add an area where I can just go with the stone. And I decided it's not going to be a scrolling game but rather just in a one screen game. But I'll also add the portal in one side and water in other side. So there will be six rooms. One is where the so two rooms would be caves, one room would be the desert, one room would be a water side lake kind of thing, and one would be the snow mountains not the snow mountains, but like um, I don't know, I think that should be it. So, one desert, one water, two caves, uh, regular grassland, and the final one are actually add like a lava pool because they are rare or I might add a village or a temple so maybe I use a pink a pick random that would be best anyways continuing if we touching trees then y minus 5 or 5 to we get this if Um, uh, minus five. And okay. Okay, and that's all for the collision. So if I try to just do that, then I'm colliding with the trees. So I can just destroy them with my hand. Mm. Do I need to make it go a bit forward? So maybe the size change was kind of a bad idea. Oh, please found on me. Maybe I will add like a distance between only for the hand because the hand okay the and is a bit too far. Only for the hand. Only for the hand, it's just a bit longer. And when I switch it to the 
axe, pickaxe and all it will be the same and I am going to cancel items from here because I don't know it feels too much so as I was saying um, now I will add uh, able to choose weapons for now for now so then you can get a good feel of how the game would be I can if that and get another if so I'm getting 5 ifs because uh, sometimes you might want to uh, change to your hand or uh, maybe uh, your item broke or something maybe like I'm not sure oh, oh, I don't know why I got that Okay, if touching, uh, sorry, key pressed is equal to 1. Yes, 2. Uh, yes, 3. Yes, 4. Yes, 5. That's right now. And also keep this good word. So here I can just set my equip if the key press um, if equip is equal to hands to so set equip to hands uh, set equip to wooden axe actually I will put it in 3 then wooden sword or actually Wood then sword. And then I'll put the pickaxe next. Pickaxe and then at the end shovel. Not really much using unless you're on a sand or road and want some glass. Not sure why you'd want glass because you can see from a top view. Mm, maybe I'll add it. No. So just put in shovel or maybe gravel. Gravel is a sound like thing, maybe clay also. So anyways, wooden shovel, that's done. So now I should be so I have a hand, if I press two, I have a sword, three, I have an axe. Um I'm not sure why this isn't working. If touching weapons, change wood. If it could. Okay. Not sure why the collision wasn't working. Okay. So that's all for the weapon things. And maybe in the next tutorial, I'll make sure that I'll be able to craft it, and then I'll also add the inventory space. So for now, uh, let's just go on. So, when green flag click, I'm just going to hide, and then I'll make give the player the ability to create blocks. So, uh, so first of all, uh, I'm going to create a radius type of thing um, actually so I'll get a variable here so first I'm going to get a radius or layer block just layer radius I guess and create a circle I'll make it white and give it an outline for okay um yeah i need a bigger a bigger one i tend to keep it on 100% uh, because maybe I will make it shorter or maybe longer with the bow crossbows. Mm. So let it go. You got to make it default for the game. 
I'm not sure. Okay, I do have a lot of trees here, and I'm colliding with the block. I can't destroy the block yet, but I'll be able to later in the future. Just get this tree quick. Um, get it. Okay, so when green flag click, just go forever. Go to it's kind of like how uh, um, I don't know Naruto uh, Saitama punches. Uh, Saitama is kind of some one punch one punch man guy. Right? Just recently came to this, and in most anime is also like Pikachu. Was, uh, I mean not Pikachu, but Pokemon. You have like double team, and then it's very fast. But anyways, uh, leaving that. Go to clear. Whatever. All these shows. Set color effect. Uh, 100. And make it ghost effect. I have a radius. Right. I'm actually going to get it showed. Kind of see the perspective. Okay. Yeah, that seems good. So, um, that's my radius. Now I'm going to make sure. Uh, so I'm going to do an if else here, and if touching mouse pointer, then I'm going to do a within radius for sprites. So set within radius to at the beginning we will set it to no. If it is touching mouse pointer, set it to yes. Else we're gonna set it to no. So we should be seeing yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. So let's see. And that's a pretty good enough radius to keep the not the clear. Um, so this is the variable that's going to help us use the reach. So first whatever if is equal to yes if within radius we can hide it now. If within radius is equal to yes, then and also do and if also uh, I forgot to mention I added uh, if wood is less than 64 then only to create a clone. So I guess the cloning must stop. Yep, I reach 66. Um. So what I also want to do is, uh, if wood is more than 64, then we are going to set wood to 64. That's me so now uh, the 64 is less than wood. Um, also, I'll just keep this in here. Okay, and um, so my body will always stay at 64, so that also helps us in our stacking system. Okay, now to the blocks. At uh, one green per click, it hides. Um, Three, yeah, three. Raise the axe, raise the axe. Raise the axe. Okay. Actually, if it sets to 64, then I can just keep creating clones. Should have done that earlier. Anyways, that's all the change for. Okay, why is there trees? Okay, there are just too many. 
um, so if my uh, word is more than zero then we're going to do an if key if key uh, I'll say space because E is for interacting like the crafting table and all or the chess so if key rest we're going to wait until not key space is pressed and going to create clone of block for now so if I were to so I do have some board if I don't have then let me just get some more okay so I'm going to do like really far and press E doesn't work I'll do it close um, oh yeah I forgot to do this when I start as a clone show so I'll just cancel all the clones show photo front layer and it goes to a mouse pointer at the beginning alright I'll uh, put it here and that's really all for the blocks um, Okay, so I chop that tree down and then E at the very corner doesn't work. Um, expose. Okay, don't know why that isn't working. If within radius is equal to S, if wood uh, if zero is less than wood. If okay, space space. So pressing space key, not working yes so now I can make my own houses I can put gaps in between them to conserve trees and I collide with them also that's a wrong space and I'm also going to add the F touching weapons to the block so block the rubber if touching weapons um doesn't really work for these ones now anymore but I'll just uh, yes okay all the way through okay then space at the end doesn't work and I'll just make like a small house kind of thing. A simple Minecraft like house. Um, oh, I've run out of wood. Okay, so one more thing I want to do. Okay, so it does change to. Um, one more thing is that I need to minus. I mean change my word by minus one every time I do it so give me my word um, sorry for deleting your blocks I'll create new ones and I will be adding the door leg block or maybe as a separate ok come to the pawn ok yeah Oh, I don't know why trees are spawning there. Okay. Okay, can I enter now? No. So I'll try to like make a house to see if this is actually working. Okay. Now will it work? Yeah. This is like a private corner base and I can just delete it whenever I want and I get my wood back too. I mean I should have 64 wood by now, yep. So anyways guys, um, uh, that's all for this tutorial. If you want more 
all you gotta do is subscribe, comment more. I mean, not comment more. I guess just like, subscribe, share to help this channel grow. And I'll be seeing you in the next tutorial. See ya.